Hello and welcome back to the Apocalypse. My name is Vormithrax and this is episode number 84 of our Let's Play tutorial for Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. And last episode we had a tutorial on how to be very happy about finding a very large amount of ammo. So it was a pretty good uh, teaching moment. Um, take a look here. If I bring the items up here, uh, let's do the advanced inventory version. Look at all this yummy, yummy gear. Guns and magazines and ammo, 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 and more ammo. <laughs> so between two gun stores and getting some plutonium cells off of a uh, iBot, it was quite the haul yesterday. So awesome amount and types of loot. So just tons of stuff to go through. Um, yeah, so gonna take a little bit of time to sort all that out once we get back to base but uh, let's go ahead and keep moving so we're in good condition the only thing left in the town that I was thinking of looking at was the military surplus store and I think I'm gonna bypass it um, we've gotten enough out of this town we'll save that for a trip another time so let's just take off with what we got, finish our scouting run, and get back to home. We've been gone for quite a ways, quite a long time from our home base. So, um, so far we've just got this one last little section here that I'd like to scout out. And if it looks clean of any fungal infections or towers, then we're going to call it good. Make our final decision on where we're going to plant our base and then head back home so we can get prepped for the move. So... I think we left our vehicle a little right about here, so we're going to go not quite due west. We'll angle north a bit and see if anything follows us. I think we got most of this northern end of town cleared out. Apparently we can see something running around down there. Uh, what is up here? Another police bot showed up. Alright. Apparently I'm not wielding anything. Let's get the spear out and go poke this thing. Alright. Two hits did it. Solar cell. We'll grab the solar cell. Alright. And if I remember right, the vehicle's right down here. Yep, there we are. Okay. Up into our normal unloading spot, and... What have I got where? I've got the steel drum there. Might be time to pull some gas out of that drum to refill the vehicle, too. Let's take a look here. Let's refill that tank from the steel drum. All right, we've topped our gas off. We're back at 100%. More than enough to get us home and finish off the scouting run. All right, we've still got 132 liters in that drum, so we've got another completely full tank. We could run out of gas and refill the entire thing again. All right, so that's fine. How much space do I have here? A center position. Lots, 200... And I've still got 70 in the other space. Okay, so advanced inventory. We'll make this the cart. That's where everything's going. And just piles and piles and piles of guns and magazines. Alright, that is a lot of good stuff. We've got some mods. Adjustable stock, auto fire mechanism, folding stock, forward grip, and suppressor. So... We're going to be spoiled for choices when we get back. Um, go ahead and drop those in. I think I'll keep these and just go ahead and drink them. Alright, get items. Grab both of those out of there. Fold the vehicle up. And go into that space there. Alright, I got... 43 308 rounds here in the center position plus what we've got over here another 31 so we've got almost 80 rounds plus the 20 in the gun so we're looking at about 100 rounds for our battle rifle that we've got the best training and experience with 
So that's a pretty good supply, and then we've just got piles of other stuff. It'll take us some time to sort out. I'm tempted to reload this thing. Yeah, we don't have a magazine for it. <laughs> Alright, um, so we've got that done. Let's not drink there. Let's have some cranberry juice, and we're slaked. Uh, let's get some chewing gum. And I think I'm down to my stored and smoked meats and such for food. We had some cooked meat go rotten on us. Didn't get it eaten fast enough. Um, that's the other reason why I'm looking at heading back. We'll eat some jerky. Alright, good enough. We're no longer hungry. We are tired. What time is it again? A little after 1 a.m.? Not a problem. Close that door, close the rear. Double check the vehicle again. If I remember right, we got everything repaired before we did anything else. So, yep, green condition. Alright, so, perfect status. A little bit of pain, that's not a problem though. Alright, bring the map up. We are going... How big a loop do I want to make? Thinking of just heading straight south. And I fill this in, then work my way... Whoops, work my way over this way. And then kind of up through the middle of this area. I think our binoc... Oh, actually, yeah, it's nighttime. I can't use my binoculars at night. Um, maybe we will go check out that uh, supply store. What do we got here? A field campsite? Or we can run down to the field campsite, take a look at it, and then take a nap in a tent. Maybe we'll do that instead. That way we can make some progress. I don't think I don't remember if I've shown you guys a field campsite or not, so we'll do that. So we'll start the car up. Let's pop the headlights on. Let's turn the stereo on. Jam to some tunes, get our morale up. Alright, kick up the speed and get moving. Okay, I do need to angle off to the west a bit. Apparently that's a wrecked RV or luxury RV. You can't quite tell. There's a mini fridge sitting on the road. Alright, we'll just leave that alone. We got other things to take care of. Alright, how are we doing here? So, well, we got some impact crater sites. Maybe we won't roll down that way. Uh, we've got a road over here. We haven't seen what's at the end of this road yet, so we're going to head due west. I'm not sure, but that's kind of looking like the forest might fill in over there. We may not be able to go that direction completely. Alright, we're going to park right here for a moment. Yeah, I can't quite see over there. So we are came to a halt. Let's go ahead and turn off the stereo, turn off the headlights, and turn off the car. Now let's go take a look. Set this side to all. So flare gun that's empty, some clothes, tin can of broth, and some aspirin. some sugar and some Italian seasoning. We'll grab those. I have fly buzzing around. That looks like about it. So one of the reasons you might come here early game is because it's got a brazier right here that you can take with you. So and there's also these tents that you can hop into and you can close these up.
Um, I think we'll just hang out in the vehicle. Dome light on? Yeah, dome light is on. Dome light's been on for days, probably. <laughs> I didn't realize that. How's our battery doing? We're at 90% of total battery capacity, so that's fine. Alright, so we'll hop in here, close the door. Close all these other doors. Push. Alright. <laughs> and he opened the door again. I don't know about this guy. Hey, Hank. Can you teach me something while we're sitting here? I want launchers one. Please don't interrupt me. Please don't interrupt me. Launchers one! <laughs> Everybody remember what that means? I don't even know if I have it here. Right there. Mark 19 grenade launcher. Um, that position, no. Alright, examine the vehicle. <laughs> Over the passenger seat. Install. Oh, now come on. Hopefully it's just that I'm missing my... Uh, tools. Not charged up or something. Where's that grenade launcher option? Actually, maybe I have to have it in hand. We'll check. I'm just curious. Alright, I've got it in my inventory. Examine vehicle. Uh, uh. Actually, there's a solar panel there now, so I probably can't install it anywhere where there's a solar panel. Let's pick that. So right there, looky there, Mark 19 grenade launcher, everything's green. We can install a Mark 19 grenade launcher. Oh boy. <laughs> Cancel out of that for a second. Let's remove this M249. We'll remove that. And let's make sure that we do that location. Pick up. Get items from the ground. Alright, we got it picked up. Drop into that space, the M249. Alright, now examine vehicle. Right there, install. Grenade launcher. This is taking a while. No, nope, don't stop. Keep going. Wow, it's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Okay, we got it. Mounted Mark 19 grenade launcher. Hey, how come it doesn't show the ammo? Reload. There we go. Grenade belt with 40 millimeter concussive grenades, 25 quantity. There we are. Set turret fire modes, aim turrets manually, aim automatic turrets, aim individual turret. I haven't played with turrets since they've made a bunch of changes to the vehicles and the turret system, so it'll be kind of entertaining. If we see a good opportunity, I might just fire off a few grenades to see how things work. That would be pretty fun. Maybe we'll take that off to that mall that we saw where there were about a hundred zombies in the parking lot and uh, have a good time. Alright, well, now we've got a bit of an issue because it's five o'clock in the morning. We're dead tired, so we need to sleep, but it's going to be tough to sleep here. Um, we need an enclosed place because the bright light is going to cause problems unless we craft up a blindfold or something. Let's hop out and pop into a tent. Close the tent. 
We'll try to sleep here. Yep, it's letting us. Looks like my buddy's taking a nap in the car. Bright light where I'm standing, so where I'm trying to sleep. It's not waking me up yet, so... Time is still rolling by. And we finally woke up. Very hungry, very thirsty. Okay. Pop back in the car here. We will drink our cranberry juice and our apple cider. Alright, we're slaked. And for food, let's, let's see here. I know somewhere I've got smoked meats. I got 30 dehydrated meat. There's 22 smoked meat. Let's see what it'll let me craft with the food we've got on hand. So I could rehydrate the meat. Um, I don't remember for aspic. That takes bones and cooked meat. Now it's gonna use. I got rotten cooked meat. I gotta be careful of that. I'm gonna dump that. Ah, go back to the car here. Sort. All find meat. Meat. All right. Inventory. All right. Grab that meat, and we're gonna dump it out the back here. Just to get rid of it. So we don't accidentally try to craft or cook with it. Alright. Yeah, we don't have much choice in what we can make. Let's just eat our... smoked meat. That's why we brought it. Alright, so we're full and slaked, so we're good to go there. Close things up here. Alright. Car's at 97% battery now. That's because it spent a good portion of the day just sitting in the sunshine, even with the rain. Um, how is our welder and UPS are doing fine? Welder could use a little bit more charge, but it's good enough. All right, so back to the plan. We're going to keep heading west, see what's at the end of this road, and see if this forest up here meets with this forest down here. I'm kind of wondering if this is just a big blocking forest here that I'm going to have to find a way around. So start the car up, get some speed, and avoid some bushes. Alright, what do we got? A little tiny engine, and we got a motel. Um, not real useful in our current situation. We'll just do a drive, excuse me, we'll do a drive-by. And we'll run some zombies over on our way through. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> Alright. Oops, did I get him at the end there? Uh, I guess I did. Was that a spider coming after me? Giant wolf spider. Okay, car's spinning out of control here. Get moving. Alright, now we'll turn around, take care of that spider. And a Z9 and another. Electrician? Firefighter. Alright. Halligan bar. Already got one. VA mask, helmet. No. 
really good stuff if you didn't already have most of it. Um, I think I'll avoid running anything else over. I don't really need any of this stuff anyway. Pretty straightforward cars. Uh, we've got a running vehicle down there. Got a bunch of stuff in it too. Um, the mobile meth lab. I'm not sure it's going to be worth stopping for. I'm actually going to stop because there's a chance we can find things in the uh, motel lobby there that might prove useful. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this to a stop. Stop driving. Hop out. Take care of some zombie business. Um, finish killing whatever's back here. All right, better check him again. And he got infected again. Why? Uh, I'm not carrying any disinfectant with me. All right, well, sure we have more. Get items. Not from there. Wait. Uh. Alright, don't hit my car. <laughs> Alright, get... There we go. So we'll grab one of the bottles of disinfectant and talk to this guy. Use item on disinfectant number five. Alright, so he's all settled. Don't care about that. Nice cash card. We'll grab that. What's under the seat? A pork pie hat. Not useful. And over here. Oh. Filter. Get rid of that. Adderall, some meth, and some cough syrup. We'll grab the Adderall. Uh, don't really want or need the meth. Already got a chemistry lab back at the base. Not that hard to find, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Womp. Oh, no controls, so this this thing's busted. It's Yeah, controls are busted, so you can't even turn it off. So once it burns through its gas and bat yeah, it's big gas, it'll turn itself off. Alright, let's check the lobby real quick. Yep, it's got something right there. That's the reason I stopped right there. I remembered at the last second that uh, motel lobbies are one of the places where you can pick up maps. All right, so if we take a look here, got a road map. We're gonna activate it. This is a road map for the local area, listing information on civic sites like hospitals and police stations. It can be used to add points of interest to your map. All right, we have activated it and used it, so now it has increased our range. None of this was on our previous map, so now we've increased the range of our map quite a bit. All of this is new info, and you can see in red, the red H's are hospitals. And then blue S's are schools, so... All right, so we know we do make our base up there. We've got Sunderland, Dover Foxcroft is a big area, and then we've also got a pretty decent sized area right here. That's to go along with this area that we had already been planning on moving into. So there's the mansion that I'm kind of thinking might become our home base. Um, once we finish exploring we'll make a, another decision about that, but uh, that's kind of the plan at the moment. Hello, zombie. Gonna come get some. Hmm. Survivor zombie. And then we got a soldier coming at us. Another good cash card. Copper knife I don't care about. What 
you bring me, soldier? Oh boy. Look at this guy. An RM-20 auto shotgun. Fires that goofy caseless shotgun ammo that you'll never find more of. Utilizing a powerful and unusual caliber. Yeah, no kidding. The RivTech RM-20 caseless automatic combat shotgun was designed with durability and overwhelming power in mind. Yeah, it's an awesome weapon. It'll fire four shots. It'll auto-fire four shots in a row. So it will just splatter damn near anything that you aim that at. So, awesome shotgun. Happy to have it, but... Like I said, finding new ammo for that thing, yeah, even in the ammo shop we found, good luck. And then H and K UCP, so we'll take that as well. And don't care about the rest, but man, that guy was loaded. All right, whoa, big old pile of uh, drinks. Sure, we'll grab all of that. And a bunch of empty vending machines. All right. Got somebody making noise outside. Oh, we got worm sign. Worms. Ooh, another soldier. Whoops. What did he rip? Rip my ammo pouch. Alright, he's still fine. I don't need another defender. And I'll grab the tactical gloves. I can't remember if I've got some of those laying around. All right, I don't really care about a motorcycle at this point. And there's the pool I was talking about. So that's what makes the uh, motel kind of a nice starter area if you happen across one. There's not usually a tremendous amount of zombies unless you get a bad random roll. But you've got fresh water from the pool. Um, and these are usually kind of in outskirts areas, so they're usually pretty good to get into. And then you got lots of rooms with uh, raw materials and lots of toilets so you can get water out of as well. So makes for a pretty good starting area. All right, let's work our way back around. And drop some stuff in the vehicle and we'll get moving again. So drop there. Back gloves, we'll drop all of this random stuff. Man, a lot of random stuff. Alright, did it all fit? It did. Examine vehicle, that back corner is now at 218 out of 250. So we're still doing good. So glad we got this car souped up with all this cargo space. Makes this kind of a trip really convenient. Alright, so we found what I wanted, so let's go ahead and get the car started back up again. And map-wise, it is opening up, so that's good. We're going to go find out what's at the end of this road here. We'll kind of skim our way along this end, see what these endpoints on these roads look like, and then we'll work our way back up through Bedford and uncover all of this. So that's the plan. Zoom out so we can see where we're going here, so I don't smash into any boulders. Alright, uh, yep, we're just going to keep heading southwest. What are those? Grim Howlers. Okay, no big deal. Goodbye, Grim Howler. Blueberry bush. Oh, summertime. <laughs> Didn't notice. We just passed into summer. I'll have to watch my temperature. Summertime, we might be running a little warm with the gear we're wearing. What are these? Pump station. Huh. Alright. I think I'll roll east of the pump station and then kind of wrap back around so I can uncover as much of the city area as I can. 
Plus, I want to kind of get a look inside the pump station through the windows, see what kind of items are there. Rock, wrench, not much useful so far. Like a bunch of machinery in there. Okay. Nothing special on this end of town. Let's just roll up to the north, northeast, or northwest. Ugh, keep getting knocked sideways. Just running over small bushes. Alright, how we doing? Pretty good. I'm gonna keep going due west for a little bit longer, though. Alright, so... Furniture store... Music store... Oh, I'm gonna have to go find out what the serving area interface things are. I don't remember. Alright, so now we're gonna head almost due northwest. We'll head up here, get all this uncovered. Looks like a military bunker right there. That's good to see. I still don't think I've seen a single science lab. We have so many science ID cards. I can't find military cards to save my life, but science ID cards are all over the place. And right, what do we got sitting out here? Ah, just a rock. Alright, check the map again. Okay. Well, I think... Yeah, we'll just keep heading north. We'll skim around this last Man on Earth shelter and along the side of Bedford, get the rest of this section uncovered, and we'll be pretty much done with our scouting trip, I think. Next episode will probably be me staring at the map for half an hour. Going, um, huh. Maybe, the, look at all those blueberry bushes. Alright, I gotta stop for that. That's just too many of them right on the back side of his last Man on Earth shelter. Alright, we're gonna stop for just a quick moment while I hop out and grab some blueberries. I can't pass up that many of them just sitting there waiting for me. I'll zoom in. Yes. Yes. Grab everything. Zoom back out. A few more. I'll grab this one up north. I'm going to leave that other one. Alright, that's enough. Big old pile of blueberry seeds. Alright, let's grab a drink of water. And pemmican, seasoned salt. I'm wondering if I should dehydrate the fruit right now. I could turn it into fruit leather.
Um, gonna take 18 minutes. I think that's per. So yeah. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. 51 minutes for the entire thing. What time is it? It's 1700. So five o'clock. That'd be six o'clock. Where else are we gonna go on the map? Keep moving. I want to try to get this scouting run done. We're already running a little longer than I wanted to go this round. I want to finish this off right now. All right, let's try not to run over every single thing in the area. Okay, so we're going, yeah, due east. Ugh. <laughs> All right, we're probably not going to get uh, the scouting run done this episode. I just, the pack rat in me just can't pass up this much food. Whoops, sorry there, bush. <laughs> uh. All right, I'm going to stop it right here. Okay, so map-wise... What we're going to do is, I'm going to end the episode right here, and I'm going to grab all these berries, probably in between episodes, because um, it's not too exciting watching me go pick berries, but I just don't want to pass up this much, because they're seasonal, and uh, I just want to have a good supply of them, and having this many bushes all next to each other is perfect. So, and it's also looking like that forest is going to be solid forest through a huge portion of this, so I don't think I'll have to map up map out all that much. But uh, next episode, we'll just run along the edge of that forest up to the north. And um, we'll probably have to pull back south again to go around this end of town if we want to get back up to that mansion and take a look at it one final time. Um, but we're going to have to decide where we're going to make our base. So it's going to be somewhere on the screen, probably in that area. I don't think I want to come all the way down here. Um, the LMOE shelter... I don't like building my main bases underground because you have to go up and down the stairs so much and it's inconvenient. Um, so it'll be an exterior or above ground type of a building. I don't see any garages. There's a doctor's office here. No convenient garages where I can access the uh, roll-up doors easily. So I'm still liking the mansion I think. It's Fairly well centrally located to everything. I may try to find a way to chop my way th an opening through this forest so I can drive a car through there sometime, but uh, we'll see. That might be more than we can handle. Um, but a lot of possibilities. So feel free to pause the map or pause the game and uh, watch that map. And if you can spot some better place than I've seen that's uh, a good location and has certain reasons for why you think it'd be a good place to put a base, Feel free to pop them in the comments or visit me on my Discord channel and uh, let us know over in the Discord. I've got most of my other social media linked down below as well. It would help me greatly if you might want to uh, pop over to the other channels and like, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff on the other ones as well. That would help me grow the channel and uh, get some better exposure. So that would be greatly appreciated. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.